Yo guys, what is going on? Craig here and today just going to bring you a quick little video of a chest and tricep workout that I did. Uh, in this commentary we're just going to go through where I've been, what I'm doing now and things to come in the future. Basically to get into it I've been slacking on the uploads and stuff just because Recently, in life, a lot of things have been changing with the fact that I now have a job that's, I went, I'm working more hours and working further away from home, so I have less actual free time at the end of the day, whereas my job before, I had a lot more free time after I was done work, and as in life changes, uh, not much has really changed. Uh, just got a new person in my life, which you'll see in this video here. This is her first time on my channel, and you'll probably see her a lot more in videos because we're going to do some couples videos, whether it's like challenges or Q&As or stuff like that is what I'm thinking in the future. And... I'm debating also, got a big Alphalete haul coming, so maybe she'll do a review video for you ladies out there on the new Alphalete line that just dropped last week, I think it was. But other than that, that's about it that's happened in my life so far here. And that's what I've done now to get into like future goals and stuff like that and what my plans are with this channel. First big plan is to get back into making videos like I did before. And I'm thinking I'd like to do to start, get back into it, is two videos a week. Um, I gotta make one coming soon because in the time since my last video, quite a bit's changed with the Jeep. So I was gonna do a Jeep update video with the mods and stuff that I got on it. And I'd like to do fitness related and Jeep related. So maybe one video a week would be fitness related. One video a week would be Jeep related. And then I know coming up in February, I got two trips. So I'm going to vlog those and we'll just see how things go. But that's kind of the schedule I was looking for. Maybe the earlier in the week video would be a fitness video. And then later in the week would be a Jeep video or maybe like Whenever I get a new mod, I'll do an installation video or review video when it comes in. Stuff like that for the Jeep videos. Not really going to go too in-depth because there's a lot of other channels that just do like straight Jeep videos. And I just want to do basically what I'm doing to my Jeep kind of thing. Or like anything that comes up along the way with my Jeep. And that's pretty much it for future plans here. I'm thinking, I know I do really want to get back into this YouTube thing. I've been watching the sub count grow and stuff like that since I've been gone. And it's making me want to get back into it more and more. Plus, with the new year, that was kind of my New Year's resolution. And my girlfriend's been pushing me and pushing me to get this video out to get back into it. So now this is, I think, where I'm going to be. Starting off, there's not too, too much more to really talk about. So I guess I'll just go into the workout a little bit. So as you've seen in the first few clips, just started with flat bench. I ended up hitting 180 for three sets of eight. But on the last one, we didn't record it because I knew I would have needed a spot so she gave me a spot rather than recording on the last set and then when we jumped into incline I downed the weight a little bit and tried to do a little bit more controlled reps just because incline is my weakest point of all my pressing movements and I really want to that's one goal of mine is I really want to get that up still and then after we did that we moved into pec flies as you can see here 
And the first ones we did were like an incline pec fly to work the upper chest. And the next one we did was just your regular pec fly. And the big thing that I like to do is do slow controlled movements and hold for a second at the top for like that squeeze. And then the other big thing, some people it feels weird to some it doesn't, but when you're doing regular pec fly or even like the top one, as you come up, try and bring your pinkies together rather than your palms together. Basically like you're doing a supernated curl and bring your pinkies together and that kind of scoops the chest and gives you a better contraction at the top of the motion. I didn't do it here just because I was going a little bit higher with the weight. So I didn't know if I'd be able to get a lot of reps out doing that super controlled with a supernated pause at the top. And this was also a chest try workout. So everything were sets of eight or 10 for three sets. And for triceps, we went with the same kind of route. We went 10 reps on the first one for three sets. And we did just your basic cable push down. The one thing that I find for me is when or with a rope push down is when you get down to the bottom of like the end of the movement when you're flexing your triceps is with the ropes I find it really really hard to be able to spread those ropes apart as you go up the weight because when you come down you basically want to push your arms outward which spreads the rope at the bottom but when you get up in higher weights I find it's hard to do that so I'd rather do heavier weights with a bar and then more lighter weights with the rope just because then I can get that contraction a lot better and I'm not hunching my back like I am as you see here and then we moved into weighted dips recently I've started doing a lot of weighted dips before I used to just do body weight dips for reps and I'd be doing like 20 plus reps a set whereas now in this one I did it with 25 pounds and I ended up getting 15 reps out for three sets and just this past uh, actually last night from when I'm recording this is I have decided to try it with a 45 with a plate on there and I ended up getting two sets of eight and then I took the 45 off and just repped it out for the last little bit, for basically my chest tribe burnout. And I was actually pretty shocked that I ended up getting eight reps with 45 pounds because I've never actually done weighted dips with anything more than a 25 pound weight. And then we moved into reversed grip tricep pushdowns. And this one, I like to do it with the wavy bar just because I find then it's easier on my wrist because if you use a straight bar, I find it's a little bit awkward when you get to the bottom just because it's basically pulling your pinky out more than it should for like a natural feel. So with the curve bar, it'll keep your pinky in and make it a more natural feel, I find, and it won't hurt as much because it's not pulling you in a way that your body doesn't really want to go. And once again, we went a lot. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. We just went heavier with these to try and get just 10 reps. Usually when I do triceps, I do between 12 and 15 just because then I feel the burn and get a good pump from that. But because it's coming near the end of the bulk, I want to try and squeeze as much as I can out of it by upping the weight and try and get stronger and stronger in these last few weeks of the bulk before I start cutting. And then when I start cutting, I want to try and maintain as much of my strength as I can. So I'm going to try and keep the weights the same for as long as I can. So I'm not losing as much muscle mass or strength as I could potentially lose. And that's really it to talk about for these things. But I'm basically starting my cut I think in five to six weeks-ish, uh, about a month and a half to two months, just because that's when Christian Guzman does his summer shredding. And I always like to, 
when I do my 20 minutes of cardio, I'll always put on one of his videos because it makes the time go by faster or I'll put on like another YouTube video like Max Tuning or Steve Cook or somebody like that. Just something to take my mind off of watching the clock because I find that's what I do when I start doing cardio. I break it down into first. It's like, oh, uh, like two ten minutes and it's like, oh, only four or five minutes and next thing you know, like you're breaking it down like, oh, I'm an eighth of the way there. Oh, I'm a quarter of the way there. Like it just feels like it's forever. But yeah, just this video is coming to an end pretty quick. The last one we finished with were skull crushers here and we went pretty heavy with these. So yeah, look forward to more uploads on my channel now and thanks for watching. Peace.